yearbooks. Yes, I found mine. They're time capsules of your clubs, your friends, your awkward teenage years. It's a glimpse at high school life. Well, one local teacher was recently honored for making yearbooks her high school life. This, this is the first one. Carol Medcalf is a storyteller. I'm looking for one of my favorites. For nearly 30 years, she helped tell the stories of her students. Wow, 1995. Until yeah. recently. These were my editors. Medcalf was yearbook advisor at Las Vegas Academy. It was a wonderful school where I was so happy to be around such great kids. Another year. We have one book. Oh, this is it. Another look back at the faces, the clubs, the creativity. When it became 2000, mm -hmm. so the book, half of it's one way and half of it's the other. Intentionally? Intentionally, but don't ever do it. <laughs> don't ever do it. Medcalf spent 27 years putting their stories on the page, working long hours on days off with their students, crafting crazy ideas and making them reality. I was there to oversee it, but the kids made it happen. But what about her own story? He has one that I'm using it right now, darling. Okay. Her friend Judy Allen helped tell that. The biggest joy for me has been working with Carol all these years. While Medcalf taught at LVA, Allen worked for yearbook publisher Jostens. I want every kid, when they turn the page, to suck air and go, oh. Last week, the picture was at Clark County Commission Chambers. Uh, for those who don't know, I was the editor-in-chief of my yearbook. LVA grad and commissioner Michael Naft honored Medcalf and Allen for National Yearbook Week. She misses your book. I do. She does. I'm a cheerleader for it. As for her own yearbook... It would be a compilation of all the good that I remember, but it would probably be this thick. <laughs> yeah, she, she was showing me all the yearbooks at, L, at LVA, and there was some that were like like an encyclopedia. Wow. Oh, wow. And others were a little more slender. These, yes, these are mine. I went ho to my parents' house and got from my, yeah, from what? Silverado High School. That's very yeah. nice. That is really cool. And the two, uh, Judy and Carol, uh, they freely admit they're like thick as thieves. They became best friends. Uh -huh. In fact, they're out of town right now. They're in Ohio, you oh. know, stirring up trouble there, having a good time. Yeah. So uh, it was great that she got honored there. And, you know, we always remember our yearbooks, yes, right? I think yes. we do. Uh -huh. I worked on the yearbook staff. Did oh. you guys? Speaking of which. Oh, oh my. <laughs> they got wow. it in. Yeah. Look, I look like I did. <laughs> you have an age <laughs> just a few years, years ago. <laughs> You guys, Heather, was that high school? Was yes, that, that was my senior year? Okay. Oh my that, goodness. That was from my uh, teenage angst years. Wow. What that's year the, in high school is that for you, John? That was my junior year. Okay, I that's my 10th grade year. Yeah. Oh my yes. goodness. Us little baby send face. us your yearbook pictures. <laughs> oh my if you, goodness. You're, while you're waking up this morning, if you've got your yearbook lying around, send it to us. We'd love to see it. Oh but, uh, yeah. yeah. I couldn't find mine. Uh, they're archived somewhere in the vault called my garage. <laughs> well, the, the, those heavy stones are hard to yes, store. Yes, they are. The tablets. Just chiseled away. Where they chiseled everybody's <laughs> picture. <laughs> so.